First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people are here for a bear. And today, I'm going to be uh, uh, doing a uh, video. This is on prophecy. Um, of this is Baruch chapter four, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite books and chapters out of the Apocrypha, um, and it speaks directly to us Israelites, which the whole Bible really does. But this is speaking of how in the end times uh, that the Lord Yahweh Bashan Yahshai is going to come and deliver His people as He always has uh, throughout the many different uh, nations and kingdoms that we've been in captivity in. OK, but right now we're in, in captivity under Esau Edom, who is a so-called white man. OK, so this right here is speaking of in the end times, uh, the Lord coming in to destroy Esau Edom's kingdom. Um, because second Ezra chapter six, verse nine tells us that it says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of thereof that followeth. OK, so here this is uh, this is just a prophecy uh, from the prophet Baruch, and I'm going to get right into it. So let's get started. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So only the elect, the one, uh, the, the one, the elect is going to, uh, is going to keep the law, and the commandments that are written in this book, which is the Bible. Okay, only the elect is going to keep those laws and commandments and they're going to live. They're going to live on and come to life. And and Lord willing, we're part of that number. The hopeful elect, uh, that we're going to receive eternal life, uh, be changed from corruptible into incorruptible. But it says all they that keep this shall come to life because we were spiritually dead before the spirit of Yahweh Shai came over us. He poured his spirit on us, as he said he would do in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. We were spiritually dead before then. Okay, the valley of the dry bones, Ezekiel 37. You know, the Lord, he, he poured out his spirit upon us. He poured out his, his water upon dry ground. And we sprang up, as the scriptures say. All right? So, that's part of the prophecies. Okay? The elect are going to rise up, and they're going to keep the law, and commandments of the Most High. Yahweh Shai. Verse 2. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Walk in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashan Yoshai. Okay, walk, walk in his spirit. Not according to the flesh as we used to when we were spiritually dead. Okay, we walk in, in the spirit of the Lord. We take on his righteousness. All right. <clears throat> First through faith and then through the works. Verse three, give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Because that's that's what happened to us. You know, we, we turned away. We turned away from your high and uh, uh, we, we seeked after other false idols. OK, that, that, that can't they're not alive. You know, they can't they can't do nothing. They don't hear nothing. They don't speak. Right. We 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 serve these false idols of as of wood and of stone as prophesied that we would. And, uh, and like I said, in the last days, though, the Lord is having mercy on us and he's waking us up back to our true heritage, who we truly are, which is the biblical Hebrew Israelites, so-called so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right. So it says, give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. And what's profitable to us? These scriptures. Okay. Esau Edom has hijacked and bastardized the Israelite faith, okay, with the uh, with the false Christian church. So you have a lot of these you have a lot of these churches out here, man. They just teach this teaching and teaching the Bible the way that Esau wants them to teach it. And and of course Esau is not going to teach the prophecies. He's not going to teach that he is the wicked according to the Bible, okay. And it's not going to teach who he is. So all the information has been hidden. So a lot of a lot of our people, the two thirds, um, you know, even if they desire to seek. To seek after and serve Yahweh Shai, they're they're not doing it. 
then I do it the correct way because they've been lied to and they've been blinded by the God of this world, which is which is uh, the spiritual demon Satan and his physical counterpart, Esau, Edom. So <clears throat> let's keep reading. Oh, Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, happy are we for the things that are pleasing unto Yahweh Hashem and Oshai are made known unto us. And once again, man, we, we did not know these things, you know, because the Lord had punished us. He, he took away not the knowledge of, him, of himself. And so, we, like I said, man, we was just lost out there because that's our power. All the, all the nations of the world, they were just waiting for us to, to fall out of the out of the glory and out of the light of Yahweh Hashem and Oshai. Because without that, we're nothing. Okay. The scriptures calls us uh, calls us like a worm. It says that we are as sheep going into the midst of wolves. Okay, so you know, uh without without the heavenly father's only begotten son, man, we're nothing. Okay, but happy are we for things that are pleasing unto Yahweh are made known unto us. So, like I said, man, he he brought it back into our knowledge. Okay, that's him having mercy on us. Verse five. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. So who are the Lord's people? The memorial, memorial of Israel. The Lord said, "Be in good cheer, even though all hell breaking loose, man. Even though that that uh, that sea hit about to come out, you know, what I'm saying it's gonna be a, a, a physical famine, famine of the word. World War Three, folks are gonna be getting drafted. Jacob's trouble, all that stuff is fastly approaching. But the heavenly Father is only begun saying, how about Shimon Shai is telling us, be of good cheer, my people. Okay, so we 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 ain't gotta be stressed about nothing, man." We, we we don't need to worry about we don't need to worry about the uh destruction of the wicked, but the salvation of the elect. That's what we gotta keep our minds focused on. Running our course. All right, and uh just enduring to the end because uh it tells us in the scriptures that he who endures to the end shall be saved. So that's what we gotta focus on, man. Okay, and we gotta focus on on, on uh doing the work of the Lord, which is being out there on the highways and byways, bidding to the marriage and uh and uh, uh, helping to wake up the the lost sheep, helping helping to bring them back to the flock, the lost sheep of the nation of Israel. That's who Yahweh Shai Mashiach came back for. So let's let's see. Now it's gonna go into our history. You were sold to the nations, All right? So let's talk about uh let's talk about um the uh, chateau slavery, transatlantic slave trade. We're put on cargo slave ships and brought over here. They brought over here from our homeland. Uh, into into uh, Babylon the Great, which is America, and it's ran by Esau. Okay, it's ran by Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And he was the one that brought us over here. Joel chapter 3, verse 6, says that we were sold unto the Grecians. The Grecians are Edomites, the Greco-Roman Empire, all right? So it says, we were sold unto the nations, not for our destruction, but because ye moved Yahweh by Shion Shai to wrath. So once again, man, we went off, we went against our power, and he sent great wrath against us, sent great evil against us, as, as spoken of uh, Jeremiah chapter 1. It talks about that, okay? So all the prophets, they all seen this, man. They all seen the great evil come upon us. They all seen the destruction of our enemies. That's, that's about to come come soon, okay? So we weren't sold for our destruction, but because we moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. And who are our enemies? Uh, first and foremost, Esau, Edom, but then also these heathen nations, man. They want to see our downfall. They want to see us destroyed. They never wanted us to know that we are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. They never wanted us to know that, man, because according to the prophecies, they're going to be possessed in the land uh, for servants and handmaids, okay, in the land of the Lord. They're going to serve us soon come. We we spent hundreds of years now serving them. All that's going to flip around. And Esau, Edom is going to receive double, double portion of all that she's put uh, and avenge herself on the children of Israel. That's that's all prophecy. Verse seven: For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, and not unto Yahweh Hashem Shai. So we, like I said, man, we worshipped the idols, right? We did we did all kind of manner of evil, spiritual fornication, and adultery against our spiritual spouse, which is Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, we had a covenant, we broke it, right? We were married. Unto the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, and we we broke that covenant. But once again, the Lord is having mercy upon us. All right, and it says the Lord never changes. Uh, Malachi three and six, I believe. For I am the Lord; I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So you know the enemy wanted to destroy us, man. But the Lord 
always had that tender uh, loving kindness and mercy for us to keep us around. Because if it was it was up to Esau and Edom, we would be completely wiped off the face of the earth. Let's keep reading. You have forgotten the everlasting God, Yahweh Bashanam Shai, that brought you up, and you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Okay, so we have we have completed we forgot the covenants. Mm. We for, we forgot all about our covenant and the law, statutes, commandments, and we you know we served uh, we served alongside the heathens and, and their and their false idols. Okay. But when she saw the wrath of Yahabashirah Shai coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, God hath brought me brought upon me great mourning. So uh pretty much the Lord had brought great evil against us. Right? <clears throat> against the, the people who dwelled in Zion, which is the Israelites. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the which, which, Hold up. If I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. Okay, so he's the one that put us into, into slavery. Okay? He's the one that, that sent that great evil against us. All right? The Christian church ain't going to teach you that. But that's, that's what happened. And when you the more that you read the prophecies, it's, it's very apparent who is speaking of. There's no, there's no, you know, this devil, man, he could tell you all day that you're not the children of Israel. But that's not what the prophecies say, man. The prophecies only fit us. Prophecies only fit us. Okay, I mean, down to the T. This this Bible, man, is accurate. Okay, all the curses that we un up under, it's all right here in the Bible, man. All the things that happen in our communities, in the streets, the ghettos, and the hoods of uh of America by Mount the Great, man. You get it's very obvious. You can see exactly who the children of Israel are just by looking at the curses. It says, With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning, because there was a time, man, when we were on top. We were in power. You know what I'm saying? Uh, time of King David, Solomon, right? You know, we were, we were in great glory at that time. Once again, though, because of our wickedness, the Lord, he sent great evil against us. He punished us. And even then, it says in the scriptures that he punished us less than our iniquities deserved. But we have, we've been given a second chance, man, and that's a beautiful thing. So this time, the, 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 the elect is going to get it right. And we're going to make it into the kingdom. The, the the everlasting kingdom, the final one. There ain't gonna be no more heathen rulership, man. Ever. It's gonna be a new heaven and new earth. Where in draws righteousness. Verse twelve. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the laws, the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So just going back and exactly what I said, man. We departed from our, our power. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the path of discipline in his righteousness. Okay? So we completely, like I said, man, we completely turned away from uh, Bashim Hashai. All right, we completely forgot his ways, completely forgot the law and statutes commandments. All right? So the Lord sent great evil against us, man. Let's just keep reading, though. Let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting hath brought upon them. Okay, so it's saying, it's telling us, uh, you know, remember all that, man. It's telling us, remember the, cap the captivity and the destruction that he brought upon us. Let's, let's see what he did. For he has brought a nation upon them from afar, a shameless nation. That's Esau Edom of a strange language. Who neither reverenced old man nor pity child. They had no mercy on us, man. They did their best to utterly destroy you. <laughs> Salakia. Like These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate without daughters. But what can I help you? Let's see. For he that brought these plagues upon you would deliver you from the hand of your enemies. Okay, so the same one that, that put us in subjection. Put us in his in his hell, and the same one's gonna lift up us up, lift us up out of there, man. For this is for the elect, though. The one third. Go your way, O my children. Go your way, for I am left desolate. I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. So that's what the men of the Lord are doing, man. The the the, uh, the elect is out here. We we got sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You see, and tell, and you know, praying to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, hastening to the coming of the day of the Lord. All right, because we want to get up out of here, man. We ready. We ready to be 
to be lifted into the chariots, man. We're ready to be to receive our salvation. Of course, we you know it's all in the Lord's time, though, man. We gotta run our course. We gotta keep on fighting, keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith. Okay, that's that's what we that's what we gotta focus on. But let's let's see what it says. It says, "Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and He will deliver you from the power and the hand of the enemies." So we need to be a good cheer, man. It don't matter what Esau Eden try to do to us. It don't matter what these heathen nations try to do to us. How about Shino Shai tells us that he has our back and he will never allow the righteous to be forsaken. Matter of fact, I just want to bring this out right quick. I just want to bring this out. I just want to bring this out because that is one of my favorite verses right here. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Yep, Sirach chapter two verse ten. Look at the generations of uh, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh Bashim or Shai and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You see, nobody, no one. All right, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it rolling, man. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> Ruth chapter four. Verse 22, for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you and joy is come upon unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. So this was all prophecy, it's all prophecy, man. He's having mercy upon us once again. For, for I sent you, for I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. With joy and gladness forever, man. Ain't gonna be no more pain, no tears, no no uh slaving at a job that we hate, man. You know, being in subjection up under this devil, never be up under heathen rulership ever again. You know, they're gonna be serving us soon come. Verse twenty four, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting, because you're going to send them nuclear ICBMs over here, going to destroy America, Babylon, the Great, and he's going to come down in the chariots with great glory, shooting laser beams on the people, burning these heathens to a crisp, man. And as, as, at the same time, the elect is going to be being beamed up into the chariots, man, being saved, being spared from the destruction, okay? And they're they going to be they gonna be looking crazy when all this come down, man. So this is this is the end of the message right here. My children, the children of Israel, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, for thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. You see, we're gonna rule him with an iron fist. Or what's, what's it called? With an iron rod. Okay? That's what, that's what the prophecies say. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock, caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Yahweh and Shai, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. <sighs> Salaki, for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh and Shai, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So we gotta go be going hard for the Lord, man. We gotta be going extra hard for Yahweh and Shai. Okay, we gotta be on fire, man. For he that have brought these plagues upon you. Shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. So we gotta be on fire for Yahweh Bashan Oh, we're gonna be on fire here in America by the Great. You choose, man. You choose. Okay. But once again, he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your sal with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. He's gonna heal us, man. Heal us of our wounds. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. You see? And miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. America, Babylon, the great man. Esau Edom is, is losing his freaking mind, man. These people, these people uh, you know, they're going crazy, man. They're going crazy. They, they got to be on all kind of pills. And America, Babylon, the great has the highest uh, rate of depression and anxiety and suicide. And it mostly be so-called white men, which don't make sense because they the ones ruin, they the ones running the country. They got a lot of money. What what are they so upset about? What are they so depressed about, man? You would think 
that they'd be thankful for the blessing that they were given, the fatness of the earth, right? You know, even though it's temporal, but nope. Like I said, man, it, you know, you, this is a damn devil, man. Let's, let's keep moving. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation because the Lord is going to come back and dis utterly destroy the land, man. Okay? He's, he's going to utterly destroy America, Babylon the Great. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to get a scripture on it before I close out. Because we got to fear the Lord. We don't want to, we want to make sure we want to make sure that we're not a part of this. Okay? We want to make sure that we're not a part of that destruction. All right? So, for I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude. There's a good lots of power, money, all, all, the, all the fatness of the earth, man. Esau Edom has it. And her pride shall be turned in the morning. Because they're the most prideful, wicked nation on the face of the earth, man. They destroy, they destroy everything. They destroy the people. And they, you know, everywhere they go, man, death and destruction follows right behind them. And and then they got the nerve to to flip it around and try to make it seem like the Israelite man is the criminal, the thug. You see, and a lot of two thirds of our people have became wicked because they fell under their programming. But I mean, this is this is what it is, man. This is exactly this is what it is. Let's see. For fire, the Assyrian missiles shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Jerusalem, look about. The toward the east, cause that's that's where that's where the missiles. Done. That's where the Lord is opening up His armory, and He's getting ready to send. He's getting ready to send uh, the Slayer. You know what I'm saying? He's getting ready to send. I should be a missiles over here to make the land utterly desolate. And behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from your Habash and Shai. This is the great joy to us, man. He's gonna avenge the blood of the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Esau Edom has been slaying slaying the men of the Lord and doing great wickedness and evil against us. For, for a long time, you know, throughout all of history, which has been a short time for the Lord, but for us, it's been a long time. Let's see, last scripture right here, verse 37. Lo, thy sons, thy sons come whom thou sentest away. They come, they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, so that's what that's happening right here, right now. Right, it's happening right here, right now, as we speak, man. Okay, the, the the elect is being gathered. The elect is being gathered from the uh, from the four corners of the earth, man. They be coming here to Babylon, America the Great, to be delivered. Now, let's. I just want to get this right quick. I just want to get this. This is this is talking about the day of the Lord, man. This is when the Lord is going to bring great destruction against America, Babylon the Great, and Esau, Edom. It says. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh Shai, and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold should be able to deliver them because they think that because they got the fatness of the earth. The Lord is going to have mercy on them. Nah, man. The Lord has chosen the poor. OK, the Lord has chosen Lazarus. Yeah. And that's that's the Israelites, man. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. All these uh, uh, Esau, Edom, these two thirds and all these heathen nations, man. He's going he's gonna to make the land utterly desert, completely wipe them out. All right. And then, you know, it's all it's all been uh, it's all been. What's it called? What am I trying to say? It's, it's a long time coming, man. It's a long time coming. They've been they've been ruining the earth and wickedness for years and years and years and years and years. And the Lord is just waiting for the time of their sin to be fulfilled. And he, he's patiently enduring the vessels that are fitted for destruction. And when that time comes, he's, he's not going to, the, the prophecy is going to come true, man. Though they may tarry, every prophecy is going to come true. And he's going to utterly destroy a Babylon America the Great. The, the elect is going to be lifted into the chariots and we come back down. The the heathens that 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 survive, okay, all the chaos and destruction, they're gonna rebuild new heaven and new earth, and, and it's gonna be ruled in righteousness. I need Hawashai, Hamashiach, the hundred forty four, and the men on down. So you know, once again, man, the Wadi Yahweh, the Wadi Yahushai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahushai, for just giving us this blessed word, having mercy on us, man. But uh, man, that's that's it. That's it for today. Y'all, that's out there. Peace, blessings, and safety. Y'all, sincere, I can keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith. 
regardless of what the people are here for bear. Shalom.